Hey guys, Karis here with another review. This time I'll be reviewing the Yokai Watch Kibanyan Pla model. So, as the name implies, this is a plastic model of Kibanyan from Yokai Watch. And so, with all of the reviews I've done so far of LBX Pla models, I decided that I would now start to branch off and get into the Yokai Watch Pla models. Now, with these ones, these are for a younger age set than LBX and are very simple to build, but it's more in the options that you get with them that can give them a bit more character. So, start off of course we're going to look at the instruction manual, which starts with this cover showing a fully painted version of the kit included, and then a little bio of Jiminyan on the front underneath it. So inside you can see that this comes with four runners and then a sticker sheet. And you can see it only includes just so many parts. It really doesn't include very many and a lot of them are pretty big. But similar to the LBX plot models, you can just punch the pieces out of the runners and just kind of break them off without having to use any kind of nippers. And there are very clear, full colored instructions to help you build the kit. As well as showing off some of the options that you can do for it. Now, with this kit, the build time is usually about uh, around half an hour to an hour. So it's a pretty quick build. Looking at the kit itself, it's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. The kit just uses four colors of plastic being red, white, yellow, and clear blue, with several stickers. Starting with the head, you can see that this is the uh, kind of uh, trademark, very round and bulbous head that Jiminyan has. See that it gets all the right details, like the notch taken out of his left ear, the wisp kind of pattern to the white part of his face. He's got down the eyes and nose and mouth, which are all stickers. Inside of his ears are also stickers. He's got the body, which has his bell, which has the collar part molded in, but there's no gray color to it. And then the actual lower part of the bell, which is clear blue plastic. The little white tuft of fur on his chest, which is a sticker. His belly warmer, which is the single yellow plastic piece. His arms, which have white stickers for the hands. His legs have come down to his feet, which also have white stickers on them. Going right to the back, we, you have his twin tails. It would come to an end at these little will-o'-wisps, which are clear plastic with a little sticker on the inside. And then because of the way he's designed, he comes with this small little clear blue base that he can stand on. For his articulation, it's pretty simple since he's got a very simple design. His head is on ball joints, so you can move it all around. His arms are also on ball joints. His torso is on a ball joint, so you can bend him back and forward and left and right. The waist is on a uh, separate ball joint. Well, okay, not entirely, but you can use uh, the joint in the torso to move the body around as well. And then there's a little joint in the tail as well. So you can position that a little bit. That's all well and good, but what makes this kit unique and what's kind of the selling point of the Yokai Watch Plumels is their options. So first off, let's take a look at the sticker sheet here. As you can see, there are several that are used, but there are also some optional ones that aren't used. Some that can be applied to his face, and some extra eyes. And that gets into the other thing, is that he has some option parts that go onto this little base here. 
He has two interchangeable arms, or an interchangeable set of alternate arms, two extra faces, and a Nyake B photo book. So switch out the faces, just take the model, and push this little button on the back, which will pop out the face. You can pick your face of choice, such as this more angry or battle ready face, and pop that right in. You can take one of his arms, and swap it out with one that's a little bit more bent. We'll show about both of them. And uh, can I pose him like he's doing his Yakuritsu Niku Q or Pause of Fury? Or you could go for a little bit more of a comedic look to him. Put back on the regular arms. Pop out the face. And put out this one where he has a wide open mouth and sparkly eyes. Then you can take the photo book, which is stickered on the inside too, and uh, have him hold it using the two notches in his hands. And then you can have him looking as in awe as he's looking through his photo book. And of course, with your chosen pose, you can then sim on the stand. And just going through, you can also do some other options, like this one of a despairing Kibanyan. You also change up the eyes for whichever ones you like best. And you see there's what the other eyes look like. And you can basically just change them up to your liking. Which, as I said, is basically the selling point of the Yokai Watch Plum models. Now one thing to note is that for the eye stickers, they have these little notches that you can use to put them on, and possibly you can use them to peel them off as well, and possibly put them back onto the sticker sheet. I say possibly because I haven't tested it out, and I'm a little bit hesitant to because I worry that the uh, adhesive glue that's used to hold stickers on may wear down uh, over time. And uh, with that in mind, one of the things I do recommend if you're going to be getting some of these kits is just a glue stick, as what I found is that a lot of stickers, especially the ones that are kind of wrap around, like the, these ones on the hands and the ones on the feet, have a bit of a tendency to peel off, and so when you, that happens, you want to take your glue stick and then just rub it underneath the inner part of the sticker to reapply it, and that'll help it hold better. With that in mind, you could potentially use uh, these little notches to remove the eye stickers and then change out the eyes with some alternate ones. It's just something to keep in mind. And there we go. So, as I said, these kits are very much aimed at a younger crowd. I'd say that the minimum age for this would be around 5 to 6 and these are very easy for kids to build with or without their parents help. And as for collectors, these are also pretty nice in that they're simple little figures of popular yokai watch characters that you can build in less than an hour and uh, basically pick how you want to display them and kinda make it yours. And that is something nice. So for Jiminyan, if you want a nice little poseable figure of him, but you don't want to spend the big bucks to get the Chogokin version, this is a pretty nice alternative. 
and there are other Yokai Watch plot models out there that increase in quality as the series goes on, and I will be looking at them too. So, as far as this guy goes, I can definitely recommend him as a starting point for the Yokai Watch plot model line, and just in general as a plot model geared towards Yokai Watch fans. So, next time, I'll be reviewing the Deluxe Duo Changer. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can check me out on Facebook at facebook.com slash 50 And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.